Uh, it's big. It's big. It just means uh, all your hard work is going to fan off. You know, uh, people kind of see what, what you see your work, see what you've been doing on and off the field, you know. So it's big that he acknowledged that. But he, he's a great player, and I can't wait to go go against him myself. You know, that's going to be a great a great matchup for me uh, and Carlton, both and, and Javaris Davis. Uh, so it's going to be a great matchup for us, and we look forward to it. What stood out to you the most about the film He's explosive. He, he's very explosive. You know what I mean. He 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 wasn't the best wide receiver by accident. You know what I mean. He he leads the team with like 74, 75 receptions. Uh, a lot of big plays, a lot of touchdowns. He's he's a really nice smooth route runner. So he's a good guy. You know. So we got to take on that challenge to make sure we limit all that that, that he has done in the past. And he's beat teams by himself, and we're going to try to limit that as possible. What does he say about the seniors and the young guys that he listed? Just uh, it's just the work that we put in, you know, it's all credit to, to Coach McGriff and uh, the hard work that we put in in the offseason and the end season. Uh, we take pride in, in, in not letting people beat us over the top and giving up passes. We kind of get mad at one another once we get off the field, you know, after the game, uh, who gave up the most passes, you know what I mean? So we compete in practice, so it carries over to, to the game. So we, we try not to get let anybody get any type of highlights on us, you know, so it's just the hard work that we put in. Coach Steele said something about that. It doesn't really matter if y'all are playing under a new coach every year. It's, it, all that matters is really how the coach is. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, because cause at the end of the day, you know, you still got to play. You know, regardless of who the coach is, regardless of, of who what the scheme is, you still got to go out there and execute. You still got to go out there and, and make plays at the end of the day. So whoever comes in to, to, to coach these guys after this game is going to be walking into a, a, a room full of diamonds, per se, because they, they got a great young room, a great young talent coming back, and they, they're going to have whoever the coach is is going to be able to make them better. So I can't wait to watch them play in the near future. What's made your defense good against getting up big plays? Uh, we, that's all they preach. They preach. We preach not giving up big plays. We preach limiting big plays. We got to make our, our motto is we make them earn it. You know what I mean? We got to make them we take them nine, ten play drives. You know, teams, most offensive coordinators not not patient enough to take those nine, ten play drives. If they can do that, then they, you know what I mean? You kudos to them. But most offensive coordinators kind of want the big plays, the big shots. So the more them, the, the less big shots and big plays they get, the harder it is for for offensive coordinators to kind of call the game. So we kind of we kind of harp on limiting the big runs and, and especially uh, limiting the big passes. How much is it? Um you guys got 25 sacks by nine different players. How much does that help out that you guys got a lot of I mean, losses for big names? You got a lot of guys in your oh, It's great, man. Because you know, you know, as a defensive back, you don't have to you don't have to cover for eight eight seconds. You know, which is it's, it's impossible. You know, to cover for that long. So we got guys like Carl and and Mon and and uh, Marlon and. Uh, Jeff, it, it makes your life easy as a back end. You know, we, we praise those guys. We tell them how much we love them and, and joke around them as much so we know that they're going to get to the quarterback because we make those guys look good and they they make us look good as well. So we, we that pass rush does tremendous things for a secondary and for a defensive coordinator. You can call whatever you want to call for the most part when you know you're going to get to the quarterback with, with a, a great four-man rush. How much pride have you all taken in Turning all this defense into what y'all have this year. Uh, you kind of, guys were talking about you know, Auburn was known as a team of good offense, not a great defense. And now this year it's, it's kind of turned around. Turned around. Right. Yeah, it, it was big for us. That was our whole thing to uh, make sure we turn. Turned that, turned that model around. You know, uh, it's been a lot of, a lot of years where, where it's always the defense didn't come through and the defense didn't do this. So before the beginning of the year, we kind of came together as a collective group and said that we're gonna make sure that that's, that's a different story this year. We want everybody to talk about the defense after each and every game. And at the end of the year, we want to be considered as one of the top defenses. And at the end of the year, we're, we're one of the top defenses in the country right now. So we, we accomplished our goal and we got one more game to go out there and prove that all the hard work and everything that we, we wanted is, you know what I mean, coming coming to truth. Uh, the moment that guys started to buy in to, to Kevin, to Coach Dale when he walked in the door, do you remember a specific time? I mean, it was early, early, real early. Like when we first got into the room, you know, uh, you could tell like things just started to change, you know what I mean? But especially right after that Clemson game, like, it, was a, it was a lot of moments before, but right after that Clemson game when we kind of knew like, we just held the, 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 the best quarterback in the college football at this time to under 20 points. 
we, we, we it kind of hit us all. Like we can have a great defense here, you know what I mean? And we kind of we took that game and we ran with it, and we never looked back, you know. So. Before the season or, or in the spring when he, when he got there, kind of let you guys know where he was from originally and, and, and why the Auburn job was, was appealing to him and why he was why why where he wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. He, he kind of told us that uh, Auburn was, was, was his first game he attended uh, as a kid. And he said that he remembered every every person's name on the roster then. And he said it was one of these places that you wanted, you wanted to be a defensive coordinator at. And he said he, he took this job because he wanted to come here and help change the culture around, you know. So well, I thank him for coming. And as a defensive, a defensive unit, we thank him, you know, because he came in and we really did do that. And we, we love everything about Coach Steele. You know, he's a great guy overall on and off the field. And on the field, he, he makes us look – we make him look better and he makes us look so much better as well. So him coming in was a great, a great addition for us. You've obviously been through a lot during your, your time at Auburn. I mean, what does it mean to kind of end your career in this game, and, and what would an upset mean? Uh, man, it'd be good. It'd be great because uh, I've been I've been on the best teams, the worst teams. Uh, a lot of people can't really say that. You know, I, I, I think I'm the only person to play a snap in each season. I want to say that's kind of bad, but I'm old, you know. <laughs> but the end the end of the year at the, at the Sugar Bowl, you know, after we just played in the Birmingham Bowl, there's a big kudos to to what we did as a, as a team, you know, in this all season and and the commit we we made to each other to, to be better than what we were last year. You know, that's that's all it was, you know. Uh, and to be here now is just a, it's just a blessing, you know, for each and every one of us, especially the seniors. The the end with a bang, you know, it would be even better, you know, to, to get that Sugar Bowl win for the program and and to leave a senior leg, legacy, you know. That we got that Sugar Bowl win. What do you think it's gonna be like for you personally to finally play in a bowl game? Oh, uh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Nobody actually knew that I haven't played in a bowl game yet, which is crazy. But yeah, it's gonna be great. I can't wait. You know, it's been one of those those long rides where you have been waiting to do it. So I'm gonna go out there and, and, and smile on each and every play, and I'm gonna play my, my guts out like I do each and every Saturday. But I'm gonna go out there. And, I'm gonna just be happy, you know. I, I've never got that opportunity to play in the bowl game, unfortunately, but I got my chance now, and I'm, I'm gonna make the best of it. How did you uh, last five years and not make it to the bowl? Just, just timing and injuries <laughs> yeah, and just some other stuff. Injuries, man. Injuries kind of killed me coming through every every end of the season. Uh, one year it was just coaching things, and then you know just how things play out, you know. And my freshman year, we obviously didn't make it to a bowl game, you know. So it's just how things worked out, but. It's all good. I kind of, kind of wish I did get to play in some of those bowl games, but the, the, the Sugar Bowl would be all worth it. You know what I mean? That that that'd be worth not playing in some of those bowl games. You know so. How are you just enjoying the the whole experience? I mean, I don't know if you've been to New Orleans before, but just the whole, you know, the whole week. It's, it's been great. You know, uh, New Orleans is a great city. You know what I mean? This this whole time, the whole the whole. Sugar Bowl atmosphere has just been great. You know, they, they've been showing us a lot of love. Uh, we've been getting to do a lot of good things, uh, getting a lot of great gifts as well. You know, the gifts is always good too. But the uh, the city as well is just it's just a nice nice view, nice venue, nice everything we've been doing is just pretty. And just to come to one of these big venues and these big bowls like this is just a great opportunity for us. You know, it's the craziest thing you've seen out there in the world. Of city. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh man, that's tough. I think about that. That's tough. I've seen a lot of crazy things. <laughs> Just, it's been a lot of crazy. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I gotta really think on that. It's because it's a lot. It's been a real lot. Okay. I, I seen like some. I seen no. The crazy thing I seen like two, three. Like I want to say they they couldn't have been no no older than five years old. They was out there playing on like the drums out there on the side of the streets. I was like. They shouldn't be out here, you know what I mean? It's, it's cold, it's windy, like, they shouldn't be out here that, like, this early playing on the drums, you know, but there's a lot of other things. I'm sure I'll see some more things. I'll make sure I get with you on that, too. <laughs>